Hey guys, uh, this isn't going to be a great quality or anything, but I'm going to open some packages that I got. I just got off work not long ago. It's kind of a cool view. You can see into the living room and see all the cool little plush figures that I have there. Uh, anyway, you see all these packages on the bed. It's not made, but there's a lot of packages. So I'm going to try to make this somewhat quick. But I'm really looking forward to this here, and uh, this package, I think, if I'm right. Let me see what this... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what this is going to be, but let's find out. Okay. this out. Here we have the Note 20 5G. That is so cool. This is a nice box. I like that. All black. So we're going to open this. And I'm not going to be setting up the phone right now. It's late at night, but let's just look and see what it's packaged like. Okay. Samsung in there. There's the phone right there. Now it looks like there's something, booklet or something in there, but here's the phone. I want to take good care of that. It has plastic on it, but you know what? I thought I ordered the bronze. This does not look bronze to me, but if that's the case, oh well. Maybe it I don't know. But I've got a case anyway, so I'm not going to be seeing that back. But it doesn't look like what I wanted. But. Now the note has the, it comes with the stylus at the bottom of it for taking notes, basically. I guess I pushed it in and then it would come out. It's basically like your pen to write with. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this phone. It's an upgrade from what I have for sure. And let's see what else is in here. This was behind the phone. Uh, obviously we got a SIM card, it looks like, here. You can't really see there, but there's a, car, a chip in there. Um, and there's the charger. It's a cable for the charger. And uh, this will be a C charger, USB-C, I guess, which is I didn't have before. I was using the Mini. USB because I had the Note 4. Basically all the phones that I've had for the past like six years or so have been hand-me-down phones. Uh, mostly from my aunt. And a girl was nice enough to give me a phone when she upgraded. And I've had the Note 2 and I've had the Note 4. I've got all my old phones. But uh, yeah, my Note 4 is finally getting really slow and it was time for an upgrade. And I'm really happy that I feel like I'm actually doing this myself. Like, this is finally a phone that I am paying for. So, it's not only that, you know, it's one of the newest phones out there, but also that, you know, personally, it's something that I'm paying for, and it's going to be a really nice upgrade to what I had, and I can use it. It'll be really beneficial. So I'm super excited about that, and I'd like to show it off more as I get it connected. I'll have to charge it. Um, looks like there's a booklet in here, maybe. What's this? Maybe it's something else. Some kind of a key thing there, some kind of metal. There is some kind of booklet in here. I wonder what that key thing is for. I'm going to have to keep all this stuff. We're not going to look through everything. There's not really much to show in here. Um, that's about it. I'm going to have to charge the phone. There's U.S. cellular papers that came in here because that's my phone service. So I got a pretty good discount on this. I think the phone, I thought it was like 2000 but it might just be 1000 for this phone. And then I got like a $400 discount, so it really might just be like 600 But I'm going to be paying payments for about 30 months. <laughs> so I'll be paying it for a while, but I can always pay it off early. But... And it came with some nice packaging to 
protect it, so that's good. So that's the phone. There's not really a lot to see there until I get it hooked up. But let's just pick something else and see what this is. Let's see what this is. Mm. This is a Nintendo Wii U game for that new Wii U that I got. And this is one of the really highly rated games on that console, Rayman Legends. And it's multiplayer. It's a platformer. I was never really a huge... Uh... This is weird. They sent me the wrong... Sent me the wrong receipt, but that's that's okay. But you see here it says Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger for the Sony PlayStation. Some I guess that's what it seems like. That's what they charge me for. This is to go to somebody else. That's not even my address. But this is the game that I ordered. That's weird. Anyway, you can see how it's multiplayer. This game was basically rated like 9 out of 10 or something, so it's very, very highly rated. It looked really cool. I looked at some trailers. And so, Raymond Legends. I gotta grow kind of a little bit of a Wii U library. And I got a feeling that some more of these packages are gonna contain Wii U games. Let's see what's next. And the game was in there, and uh, it does come with a booklet. Not really much there, but there was that. So let's look at the next one. Another Wii U game, I can tell. It's blue. Looking forward to this one too. Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Now. I've seen a lot of Wii U discounted games at pawn shops and thrift stores and such, and I go with my cousin, and he had a Wii U a long time ago. He still has one. But I'm always like, oh, what about Nintendo Land? And he's always never interested in this game. He always just thought that it looked like crap or whatever. It's a party game. But from what I've seen, it looks pretty decent. So I wanted to give it a go. It's pretty cheap. Like I said, you can find it on discount. It's another multiplayer game, but you can play alone. But there's a variety of different kinds of party games. It's hard to see. But. Booklet in the game. Another Wii U game. Alright. Let's see what the black one is. Oh. Another Wii U game. These are relatively cheap now, or most of them. This is a game I've always been curious about owning too, and that is Splatoon. Now they have Splatoon 2 for the Switch. This was like a new franchise that Nintendo's came out with, where, you know, it's multiplayer, you play online, and you basically ride around on like jet things, I think, or maybe you're on roller skates. Maybe you just run. I don't know. Maybe you don't ride around on anything. I'm thinking that because of Mario Kart, but... Anyway, you splash paint. Somehow you use paint to mark your territory or something. I'm not sure really how the game works, but it has a lot to do with paint. And yeah, highly competitive. Really looking forward to that one. Let's see what this one is. It's another Wii U game. This one comes wrapped in bubble wrap. Ah. And this one is still in the plastic. And it is Zombie U. Another game I've been really curious about. It's pretty highly rated for the Wii U. 
because you use the touchscreen gamepad to do different things while you also have to pay attention to the TV screen. You have to go back and forth. Over 15 ways to use the Wii U gamepad. So this really utilized that gamepad. So that is great. That makes the fourth game for the Wii U that I just got. And probably the last one, but let's see what's in here. This is from Amazon. I know what this is. And I'm excited about this too. Maybe. <sighs> okay. See what we got. This is a case for the phone I just got, and I really think that's really cool. It says, it's not easy being a super rugged bodyguard. Thank you for trusting us. Not snail or whatever. I don't know. I thought this one looked really cool. I looked at different cases. This is a black hard case, okay, it doesn't come with a screen protector, but I've read that a big feature of the Note 20 is that it has a fingerprint identifier, and sometimes the screen protectors can interfere with that, so I'm thinking about just going without a for screen, screen protector, and um, I have insurance, so if the screen gets cracked or whatever, I can just get a new one, but this this also has a stand on it, which I thought was cool. I'll have to figure out how to open it though. How do I get that out? Okay, so it pulls down like that. And yeah. Is that it? No. So it can be propped up. It could help it be on its side. Separating front case from rear case. Oops. Well, I don't like how that sticker stuck on there. That pulled it off. It's coming off easy though. Okay, so there's the front case is kind of wedged in here with it. They're wedged together, so they're separate. Now I gotta see if this really is gonna fit on my phone good, so we'll find out. Looks like it will. Looks like it could be a little bit loose though, but let's see. Got this over here. I think this will wedge it in a little more. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, looks like it's going to work. Nice. I really like that. That's awesome. This is mine. I picked this case, I picked this phone, I'm paying for this, I love this, look at that. That's a beautiful case for that phone. That's great. The one that I have now that was given to me, I have like a yellow case with it. It's really nice too, but this this beats that for sure. i got to figure out how to get the stand to stay. I'm not sure exactly how that works, or if it's just supposed to be on the side. Anyway, I'm going to figure that out, but it's a tough, tough case. It's got the phone in there really tight, really good. Sweet. Okay, the final package. Now I feel kind of ashamed about this, and this is definitely an impulse buy. But I'm going to reveal what this is anyway. Okay. This is going to be a weird package. So, it's a big package. What do you think it is? Why is it going to be so weird? Oh boy. You know, oh my god. 
What is that? Oh my god, there's a dead person in here. <laughs> Who the hell's sending me dead people? Okay. Oh my god, that's creepy. That almost gave me a heart attack. For real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's a Grim Reaper. It's a really tall Grim Reaper. It's a six foot Grim Reaper. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it put together. Okay. These are the legs for the stand. How in the hell does this go together? Is it like this? Oh, yeah. I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. Huh? We're constructing. This is so silly. Mm. I'm putting the feet on the stand now. This is a really simple setup, so that's good. So why do I have a six foot Grim Reaper? Well, Halloween's coming up, but also, you see I have some downstairs neighbors that uh, love to decorate their apartment, which is fine with me, and I mean the decorations aren't necessarily bad, but, you know, I thought maybe I should decorate, <laughs> so... Uh, somehow I came across this, and I was like, this is so cool. Whoa, crap. I gotta figure this out, though. Okay. I gotta... Go with that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, I don't know, once I saw this, I was like, for some reason, I felt like I kind of had to get that. But yeah, that's pretty creepy. It's pretty tall. Just me and my Reaper, Grim Reaper buddy. <laughs> hey! And his eyes light up, but he didn't come with, uh. Didn't come with batteries, so I don't think so. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Come on, guys. You know, this is cool. <laughs> but imagine walking outside at night and seeing... <laughs> I kind of wish that it did come with batteries now, but it takes like a special kind of batteries. I'm not even sure where they go. I gotta get rid of this, though. Halloween Haunters. <clears throat> <laughs> I wonder if I should make him a little shorter because his uh thing doesn't really cover up the bottom. I 
All right, guys, I don't need to keep this video going on anymore, but all right, that's all that I ordered, so peace out. Have a good one.